2007 uh, concludes the uptrend with the upthrust action at three after the change of behavior before one and two. Basically, one and two kind of like, you know, cement the idea that uh, we are talking. Uh, the same happens in uh, 2021, a change of behavior, maybe not so pronounced, but we're definitely going into the upthrust of the distribution at three on the S&P. Then what happens? A minor sign of weakness into four, and that creates that apex formation. So we have that, and we went through this pretty nicely. Five, last point of supply in this distributional, original distributional formation, which is smaller, right? So five, last point of supply. And we conclu conclude the distributional formation here, uh, and we are ready for a major sign of weakness uh, from three to six, or from five to six, if you want to say this. And that creates also a stop in action. Uh, stop in action at six, major sign of weakness. And then we go into the seven, which is an automatic rally, eight, a sprint type event. And uh, this event produces the best rally in 2008 into nine, which becomes an upthrust uh, up again. We've called it. We've called the sprint. We've called the test. We've called this the best rally. And I remember... How many arguments did we have with, you know, the perpetual bears that the rallies in the bear markets happen, get over us, and sometimes the best rally will have a very, very aggressive character to it. We nailed it. Uh, so kudos to all of us here in this community. Then uh, Bruce was asking me last week and I kind of, you know, spaced out a little bit what kind of phase we are in. I was thinking about this day and night. This oh, so week. now you're going to answer it. Yes, now I'm going to answer it. <laughs> uh, we are, uh, I believe, in phase D or phase E of the continuation to the downside. And I'll bring you my argument and the reason why I was pausing is because I was thinking about two analogs. What kind of bear market are we in? And this is a very, very important point, guys. Are we in the market, in the bear market from 2000 top to 2003 low? Meaning that we might actually have a very, very prolonged bear market uh, with multiple legs down, with a lot of kind of like this substantial rallies in between. Or are we in a much faster pace bear market akin to 2007, 2008 into the March of 2009 low. And I believe that we are in the later one, in the fast uh, paced uh, environment. Everything after COVID is happening really fast. 